Kaana de Smart Mind é uma escola canadense, que oferece cursos de inglês, francês e imigração. Os vídeos estão em inglês ou francês para você se acostumar com a pronúncia. Os professores que sabem português vão te ajudar. Aqui, você vai ver um texto, uma regra gramatical e um exercício. Uf, vamos embora. You are welcome here to get in back. You know that work is the essential thing that can make your life successful in any country, everything else can come later, therefore you've got to have nice communication, a tight vocabulary and the best way to say your ideas, they are crucial, here, I'm going to show you, how to search for your new job in Canada, and to participate in conversations, in order to appear clever and comfortable, you will have here, 1, job searching ideas, 2, templates, 3, tips, this video will help you to find and get your work adjust yourself to it, and settle in your new Canadian life. 1. Job searching ideas. What does an innovation manager do? When considering future career opportunities, you may have wondered, what does an innovation manager do? These professionals can work in any sector that requires ongoing advances to develop and improve research and development, are paramount in much of corporate success, and innovation managers can help implement ideas to improve processes and efficiency. Here are some details involving an innovation manager's regular tasks. Job description innovation managers balance creativity with organizational capacity, creating new designs and managing a team of innovators requires a unique set of skills, part of the job is establishing a creative environment, the other aspect is identifying the best ideas, looking for potential, and allocating resources in the ideal direction working as a part of the development team. Innovation managers work on a variety of projects to grow a business's market share, regular duties and salary, and innovation managers' daily tasks vary significantly depending on the industry, though they often involve technological development by staying current with cultural and technical developments in the field, the national average salary of an innovation manager is $84,152 per year in a project management position. The goal-oriented nature of innovation managers involves working with a team of specialists to complete a task in the most efficient way possible. How to become an innovation manager by virtue of innovation? There are many paths to becoming an innovation manager. Most positions request at least an undergraduate degree in computer sciences or management experience as a valued asset in terms of innovation managers because it showcases knowledge of agility approaches, scrum, and design thinking. These professionals sometimes work with large corporate budgets, meaning it requires education, updated training, and technical experience, the following three steps detail the path to becoming an innovation manager. 1. Get a relevant post-secondary education. Having a bachelor's degree is the minimum educational requirement with the increasing reliance on automation, digital studies are a common approach business management degrees also lend to success when paired with technical studies during your degree, if you're advancing your education to get an innovation management position, to remain competitive, you can pursue a postgraduate degree specific to your industry to grow your experience in management, innovation managers are a pivotal part of any research and development team, a department that requires a substantial budget, the management capacity is equally as important as innovative capacity, maintaining a productive team over the long term, especially if you have impressive success metrics, shows prospective employers that you have excellent management skills, effective management fosters business success by encouraging efficiency, creating a healthy workplace culture, and facilitating the development of staff. While achieving company goals 3 develop an up-to-date portfolio showcasing your expertise is helpful when looking to manage an innovation team, it displays previous success, suggesting a higher probability of your effectiveness. A portfolio also notes the specific approaches taken to achieve goals, this can work to highlight either specialization or diversity, depending on your business approach, providing a list of innovation management projects you've achieved recently shows that you can take on the role with this when a prospective client asks, what does an innovation manager do? You can more easily explain your skills and achievements skills of innovation managers to work as an innovation manager. There are some helpful administrative creative skills you can apply to the role achieving success involves understanding how talent and training can apply to different situations, using gained experience and knowledge to inform future decisions. The following skills assist innovation managers in working efficiently. 
critical thinking and technical understanding having experience with design thinking and development contributes to success understanding object-oriented programming and iterative software development fosters continued innovation the history of brand management and market analysis informs the possible approaches of innovation to help the company succeed the position is creative yet involves measured investment into certain ideas requiring a high level of technical knowledge and the ability to prioritize and analyze large data sets communication and public speaking, to achieve any corporate goal, the innovation manager communicates the idea clearly to a range of audiences the business investing in the idea would prefer to hear how it leads to company goals conversely, an innovation management team may better understand it in technical terms determining the best way to relay information shows an understanding of target audiences, a talent necessary for these professionals, collaboration and time management, working with multiple departments is common for innovation managers, as new developments often involve the business being able to integrate the needs of others into time management and project prioritization helps a great deal in this position. Being able to make quick decisions based on set objectives involves managing changing information. Managing a team involves knowing how to accommodate the time required for the staff to complete a task while still meeting deadlines. Strategic and economic understanding. Determining how innovation can impact the business strategy involves an in-depth and current understanding of the economy as a whole. Strategizing requires planning for multiple contingencies, where effectively planning goals for the team is paramount. The ability to think creatively and generate unique approaches that factor in current circumstances helps innovation managers succeed. Technological and machining skills, innovative and automated are becoming more related, and to stay current in a competitive industry, these management professionals can benefit benefit from current skills knowing how to manage software, fluency in various programming languages, and understanding of automation script fosters success using technology to increase efficiency applies to everything from production to marketing and transaction speed in remaining apprised of the current technology available, innovation applications can become easier to employ in the changing work environment, work opportunities for innovation management. Building a career in the innovation management sector involves working in multiple capacities over time depending on your skill set and specific training. You can use it in various ways these approaches include finding and managing ideas, responsible for generating new ideas, by seeking out new sources, brainstorming, and actively pursuing new leads. This task involves creativity in a management capacity. You can evaluate ideas already in existence, either improving upon or integrating them. The two approaches often combine to get results in the workplace, scouting and recruiting talent, actively pursuing scientists and developers on an international scale. Innovation managers look for people, companies, and technologies that can improve business operations from there. The recruiters aim to work with those professionals to advance company interests. This involves networking skills and being able to communicate, quality management, innovation, Managers are responsible for continuous improvement, working with a specific company to streamline processes. This role involves working to implement new processes, check their efficacy, and use that to inform potential changes. It involves attention to detail and a passion for precision work, strategy and economic foresight, working to determine how large-scale cultural events and economic trends impact the company. This aspect of innovation management is about planning. It involves managing business projections and risk analysis used to determine the best option to achieve a goal the strategists performing in this capacity focus entirely on large-scale projects, planning for years and even decades into the future, organization development. This involves the structural design and implementation of different technical systems and organization development manager works with people, finds ways to integrate innovation and uses it to benefit the company's goals though not the originator of the innovative practice, the organization development professional facilitates the application of innovation and manages the people surrounding it, project management, whether in a consultancy capacity or in-house, project management specialists have unique job structures because they take a precise objective and see it through unlike other roles that involve larger scale operations, this type of work involves things like updating communication software for remote work integration once the task is complete, the project management specialist turns to a new objective, Portfolio management, innovation managers typically handle multiple accounts simultaneously managing development innovations for several aspects of a company. This role involves a great deal of time management skills, patience, and persistence prioritizing necessary tasks and determining how to best allocate resources to optimize a company's business. 
profile is paramount to this role, technical development, in charge of actually creating the technology used to streamline processes, this technician is the fountainhead of the innovation itself responsible for generating a prototype, maintaining it, and updating it to meet company specifications, the developer is both creative and technical found in almost every industry, innovation managers that work as developers play essential roles in business success. Agora você tem o texto lembre-se de entrar em contato. Na descrição você tem o nosso contato. Now you have the text, remember to keep in touch, this video improves your chances to get a job in Canada. If you get subscribed, you will receive these new videos every week, too. Templates. Why is it important to have an answer for what am I good at? Knowing how to answer the question, what am I good at? is important because it helps you identify your strengths and skills, which is especially beneficial when you're deciding on a career to pursue success requires a combination talents, strengths, hard work, and perseverance for some people, success is about making a lot of money for others, it may simply mean gaining satisfaction from their work or knowing that their work makes a difference in the world, you're more likely to achieve your version of success and enjoy your job if you choose a career that leverages your strengths, when you are able to apply your talents to performing everyday tasks, being successful and staying passionate and motivated can sometimes be a lot easier, your aptitudes and strengths pertain to more than just physical skills, such as painting or sports, you may be a confident speaker, personable around other people, or have the natural capability to make friends easily, you might even simply be a person with exceptional organizational skills who enjoys creating schedules qualities like these are valuable in the workspace, and a wide range of occupations use such strengths in their daily functions. How to discover what you're good at in six steps, here are six steps to help you discover your skills and talents. 1. Look at your leisure activities, the activities you do voluntarily and regularly are usually going to involve tasks you enjoy and find stimulating, you might also discover that you're naturally talented at performing these activities because they engage your strengths and motivate you to keep getting better for instance, if you have good hand-eye coordination. You may enjoy a sport like archery, if you're artistic or creative, you might enjoy painting or drawing in your spare time, writing down the activities you enjoy can help you identify your talents so that you can improve them even further, try to think clearly about what tasks bring you joy and list them down without being too critical or overthinking it too much, there are no right or wrong answers at this stage in the discovery process, while some extracurricular activities don't seem relevant at first, you might discover that the talents and strengths you use for those activities are actually applicable to your career to remember your childhood talents and interests, another way to determine your talents is to look back at when you were a child, think about the qualities and skills that really stood out for you in childhood, perhaps your parents, teachers or family members noticed that you had the natural ability to perform a specific task, like playing an instrument or solving complex math problems, people sometimes build on and develop the natural abilities they discovered as children, so they can apply them to their personal and work lives as adults 3. Seriously consider any compliments you receive if you're still uncertain. About the skills and talents you possess, try to be mindful of the compliments that people graciously give to you, as you become more actively aware of these commendations, you may eventually start to recognize certain patterns or types of compliments, when different people point out the same distinctive quality or skill. It can be an indicator that those traits are innate talents or competencies you possess, you could even start taking discrete notes whenever someone compliments you about a particular action you took this approach can make it easier for you to draw comparisons between compliments for instance, if many people compliment your dress style or the interior of your home, then that might demonstrate your natural talent for fashion and design however, avoid feeling overwhelmed by the discovery of new talent, you don't have to make your talent into a career, especially if it doesn't match your career goals, 4. Ask your family and friends, talking to family members, colleagues, or friends is another way to identify things you are good at people who you spend a significant amount of time with may have noticed certain traits or capabilities that remain hidden to you. When focusing on an important task such as choosing a career, try not to lose sight of the strengths, passions, and skills that you possess ensure whoever you ask knows you very well and has a firm understanding of your unique qualities and quirks, they may be able to provide you with invaluable insight and a more objective view of your natural strengths. 5. Take an aptitude test. Taking an aptitude test is a viable option to help you determine what you're good at naturally an aptitude test assesses your capabilities and skills based on how you answer a collection of specific questions based on your answers, these tests help generate recommendations for careers and extracurricular activities relevant 
to you you can also take a personality or persona test, which sometimes makes recommendations based on your personality type however, be mindful that the results of these tests are not definitive and should only serve to guide your actions and potential pursuits, some of these tests include the following, Johnson O'Connor Aptitude Test, Clifton Strengths Assessment Test, O-Net Interest Profiler Test, 6 Identify Personal Patterns, it can be challenging to figure out what your talents and strengths are on your own this is especially true. If you receive inconsistent feedback from others over an extended period of time or receive insights that may contradict your actual interests however, you can overcome this confusion by taking a more introspective look at yourself and how your passions relate to the feedback that people provide you, even seemingly different qualities may have commonalities that can direct you toward your strongest abilities. For instance, if your friends state that you are good at taking the initiative and giving your time to help others, consider doing volunteer work you may discover that this is an avenue that brings you joy and helps you develop innate interpersonal or leadership skills, tips on finding what you're good at, here are a few tips about finding what you're good at, don't rush yourself, when you're trying to identify your strengths and talents, don't feel you must rush the process take your time to enjoy each day and give yourself time to prioritize other matters as you continue along your journey of self-discovery, don't pressure yourself, sometimes you may try to pressure yourself into learning a skill or talent that doesn't come naturally to you. If the process of becoming skilled at a specific task makes you feel stressed, consider pursuing a different activity for a while before you come back to try it again, try not to feel burdened, if you've recently discovered a new talent, then you may feel burdened to pursue that talent as a career however, try to enjoy the talent for what it is, and only pursue it after serious consideration, and if you are sure it's a genuine interest, step outside your comfort zone, your comfort zone represents any situation that becomes routine, but by putting yourself in a new environment or situation, you may discover a new talent that has helped you adapt, like learning a new language when you travel abroad, try until you succeed. Perseverance is one of the most important aspects of learning. What you're good at continue pursuing a new talent or skill until you have accomplished what you wanted, move beyond your fears. There may be experiences you're curious to try, but too nervous to actually pursue try and overcome those fears, so you can try new activities, gain unique experiences, meet new people, and discover any talents you may possess. Agora você tem a regra gramatical, lembre-se de entrar em contato. Na descrição você tem o nosso contato. Now you have the grammar rule, get the inspiration there. You may get a job and go to Canada. Three tips. What are hard skills? Hard skills involve technical knowledge or training people get this knowledge and training through life experience here are some examples of hard skills, people who have worked in food service or retail often know how to use a point of sale system to take payments from customers, mechanics need to know how to operate specialized tools and diagnose problems in a variety of vehicles, if you've studied a foreign language, you may be able to speak it fluently, a programmer needs an extensive understanding of the programming language the business prefers to update or create customized software, if you want to work as an architect, you'll need to know how to use drafting software, almost every job requires technical skills specific to that industry some positions also require licensing or proficiency tests for example, architects in Canada must take a licensing exam after a three-year apprenticeship and register with the relevant provincial or territorial association of architects many other industries require such tests, and some employers teach certain technical skills on the job, what are soft skills? Soft skills are habits and characteristics that shape how you work on your own and with others many employers search for people who can communicate with others effectively, in person and in writing others desire organized, dependable and creative people who are good listeners and work well within a team, soft skills are essential for a successful job search and for developing your career people use hard skills to perform technical tasks and they use soft skills to create a positive, functional and efficient work environment for this reason, employers often seek individuals who possess a balanced set of proven soft and hard skills depending on the needs of the organization and the requirements of the position, employers prioritize soft and hard skills differently, although some hard skills require years of education and training, some soft skills are even harder to develop for example, training someone for a leadership position without at least some Natural leadership ability can be challenging many businesses consider hiring people with soft skills who are willing to learn and develop the required hard skills ask your references to discuss your soft skills like empathy and the ability to resolve conflicts 
and how these skills benefited the company and its clients or customers, types of hard skills with examples, here are some of the most in-demand hard skills, along with useful examples, communication skills, certain communication skills can be classed as hard skills common hard communication skills required to perform certain jobs include, copywriting, speaking more than one language fluently, editing, researching, reporting, translation, transcription and typing, word processing, social media, computer technology, nearly every employee needs a basic understanding of computers to perform their job effectively however, many positions also ask for a more in-depth understanding of various hard skills related to computer technology, including pivot tables, Microsoft Office, including Word, Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint, Publisher, and Access, HTML, CSS, Perl, Python, Ruby, WordPress, JavaScript, Content Management Systems, CMS, Adobe Software Suite, iOS and Android App Development, Web Development and Web Architecture Frameworks, Network Security, Data Analysis. Several occupations require hard skills related to data analysis, including data engineering, database management, data mining, data visualization, web analytics, statistical analysis, data mining, marketing. Here are several of the most in-demand hard skills in the field of marketing. Email marketing, search engine optimization, SEO, search engine marketing, SEM, Google Analytics, project management, campaign management, design. Being a successful designer requires several hard skills, and they often align with the latest technology used in the industry. The most common hard skills that employers seek for design positions include user experience, UX, or user interface, UI, design, software revision control systems, digital design, photo editing, types of soft skills with examples. Here are some of the many valuable soft skills, along with useful examples. Communication. Soft communication skills can ensure effective teamwork, create a more positive work environment, and help solve various issues in human resources, management, sales and other positions where you need to work closely with people. Communication often plays a huge role. Common soft communication skills include listening, empathy, giving constructive feedback, confidence, respect, professionalism, tact, public speaking, mentoring, networking, patience, delegating tasks, negotiating, resolving conflicts, adaptability. Employers often look for candidates who can adapt to new situations and solve problems quickly and creatively, whether they need to learn to use new software, find a way to repair malfunctioning equipment or take care of another issue adaptable people can maintain a positive attitude, stay calm in stressful situations and make quick decisions when needed, attention to detail, people should be able to catch mistakes and consider all the information available to produce high quality work attention to detail is important for people in finance, medicine, architecture and many other industries some related skills include analysis, observation, critical thinking, an accurate memory, good organization and time management, highlighting your hard and soft skills, hard and soft skills are essential for career success, and highlighting them on your resume, in your cover letter and job interviews can make you more appealing to potential employers here are some tips to help businesses notice your skills, resume, you can create a skills section after your resume objective, or summary and before your work experience you can also mention the skills you used at each job in the experience section before you decide which skills to include, look at the job description carefully organizations can list skills in requirements, education or desired skills sections then, mention as many of the skills that the business seeks as possible many companies use software to search applicants resumes for the best matches, so mentioning the right skills can raise your chances of getting an interview. For some positions, you may need to display your hard skills by taking a test, working on a sample project, or providing a portfolio check your work carefully, and make sure it looks professional. Cover letter. In your cover letter, talk about two or three skills, and include an example of how you used each of them in your previous jobs. For example, you could mention that your friendly personality and excellent communication skills make you a great fit for a customer service position. You could also discuss how you designed software solutions to streamline many procedures for your last employer and their client interviews. At an interview, you can provide more details about your hard skills while displaying many soft skills. Be prepared to answer interview questions like what are your greatest strengths by talking about your skills if possible. Rehearse some of the most common questions with a friend that way. You can get honest feedback and make sure you seem confident and professional. Demonstrate your dependability and enthusiasm by arriving at the interview early and researching the company then. You can ask some intelligent questions to demonstrate your research and critical thinking skills, and your knowledge of the technical skills needed for the job, 
Ways to improve your skills, some soft skills are more difficult to improve than hard skills, but both can get better with experience and practice decide which you need to work on by looking at the skills mentioned in job postings you find appealing here are some ways to improve your skills, practice, you can improve soft skills and hard skills with practice for example, role playing with a friend can help you increase your sales or conflict resolution skills many specialized licenses and certifications require an internship, an apprenticeship, or some hands-on practice, before applying if possible, practice the skills you want to improve regularly, look for a mentor, a mentor can help you improve your skills and provide useful career advice they can give you detailed feedback, and they can often act as references, giving employers valuable information about your skills and successes, improve your education, many employers offer continuing education classes to help people keep their hard skills up to date you can also take university courses or research subjects on your own for better soft skills, try a class on psychology or public speaking. Agora você tem o exercício lembre-se de entrar em contato. Na descrição você tem o nosso contato. Now you have some tips, join us and write your story in the comment section below. Ask whatever you want in the comments and we will do our best to answer you. You see us in our next video, bye for now.